one acre on the Satsup River. I've got some riverfront land here at Wilco Land. My name is Miles McLaughlin. What we do is we buy and sell raw land. In this video, I'm going to go over a lot of FAQs I get on these properties, common questions. Um, I actually set foot on this property, so I have a few things to say about it as well. Let me walk you through with a few photos. Um, first of all, I want to talk about the shore access, the river frontage. There's about 30 yards of river frontage. You can see it's really, it's great river frontage. It's not a high bank. Um, it's actually a nice little sandy beach down here. You can walk right into the river. So it's awesome river access. Um, and then there's this forested area. So this will make more sense in a second here. Um, look how close this person built to the river. So that's that's a really good sign that this property doesn't flood. Um, just seeing how close some of these homes are. I'll get to that in a minute as well. You know, land use and what you can do with the property. So. On the front half of this property, we saw that tree line back here. There's, there's a forested area in the back of the property you can see. Um, here's a shoreline for these property owners. Um, somebody's got like a little gazebo down here on one of these properties, but then you've got this um, shel like shelter belt of trees, this forested area. Um, then you've got this huge, it's probably about a quarter acre um, in size of this front half of the property that's been cleared and, de and developed. There's a driveway put in and there's power on site. Camping is allowed and RVs are allowed and so are mobile homes. So that's all really great news. This property has tangible recreational value day one. Um, you can plug into power with your RV camper. You can go set up shop and camp on the weekends, right? So here's your power meter on the property. That's where we parked. You can see that there. So just walking through some more photos, you can see the cleared area. Um, it's been well maintained. And then back through that forest, there's a there's a trail that people have used to go access the river. So you can tell the previous owners have cut a trail back here um, that takes you down to the river here, the river frontage. So, um, you know, I get the question, you know, can I go access this? We offer more of a self-service model. So, yes, you can go visit this property anytime you want. Um, it's in this quaint, cool little neighborhood. It's a great recreational investment. It's not too far from Olympia. It's not too far from like Shelton, Washington. It's just east of Aberdeen. Um, again, you're north of like Brady, Satsup, and Elma area um, along the Satsup River. So um, when it comes to viewing and location, um, all I'm doing here to go visit this property, um, it isn't a floodway. Um, so let me talk about that before I go into viewing. So it isn't a floodway. And a common question I'm getting on this property right now is, can I build? Um, you know, that's a, that's a tough question to answer, right? We have this price as a recreational investment but there is potential to build. So when it comes to land use, you wanna look at zoning, right? Zoning pertains to land use. And I have the website to the zoning um, documentation by the county here. This talks about things you may or may not be able to do with the property, right? Um, permitted uses and structures, conditional uses and structures, um, you know, standards for granting conditional uses, things like that. So again, um, minimum lot and yard requirement, just all this stuff, right? And so, when it comes to land use and what you can do, I have a lot of customers who get creative and say, hey, the county requires a thousand square feet or, or more requires a permit, but under a thousand square foot structure doesn't. So you can do like a non-permanent foundation, maybe like a shop or like a, a little shed with some windows and, and maybe a place to, to crash um, and spend the night. So when it comes to development, you're gonna probably need a well and a septic um, and being in a floodway, um, we're not quite sure what the county is going to say about that, right? So that's a question mark we don't know. Um, you know, there is new technology out there and every year the technology gets better to develop on properties like this. But we had just talked about this home back here close to the river. That's a sign that there's not a lot of flooding. And then look at all the development here. Person was able to build, build, build. Um, all these folks are using their properties, and have developed RVs and campers, building sites, cleared areas. Um, I mean, there's a there's a home right here. So look at this, look how close these folks are to the river and there's no issues, right? You can see all this development along the river. So it's not a perfect science, but what does that tell me? If everybody else is able to do it, why can't I do it, right? Like that's <clears throat> the type of, uh, of things you gotta be asking yourself. Obviously there's a lot of things that go into development, wells, septics, um, working with the county to get the correct permits you need. But keep in mind, a lot of people have been able to get through that process. Um, I have this property priced as a recreational investment. Um, so in a worst case scenario, you have this recreational investment, right? That's how we view our pricing. We want to say, hey, in a worst case scenario, what's this property worth? And we think it's a great recreational investment. You've got power at site. You can pull up a camper tomorrow and there's no restrictions around that, right? That's 
that's very kind of that's rare in today's day and age to have those you no know, restrictions around camping and recreation on this property. So um, when it comes to building, you're going to have to work with the county on yourself. There's a lot of positive things, optimistic things to look into. Um, you know, there's new septic systems called above ground systems, mound systems, right? Um, so that you can put in in floodways and and areas by water. So um, just keep in mind, there's there's going to be more due diligence than than what meets the eye. Um, but again, a lot of those indirect ways of looking at a property and seeing what the neighbors are doing can give you an idea of what you can do. So um, the last thing I want to do is touch on access. You can go visit the property anytime on your own. These are easy land investments to find. Um, I like to use an app called Onyx Maps, and you're simply going to plug in the GPS coordinates here and put those in right about <clears throat> here. And you can see that we own this property. Um, you've got this cleared out area here. I can draw out exactly what um, the space looks like. So approximately we're looking at maybe a quarter of an acre of space here. Maybe if I move that where it should be, like I said, about a quarter acre. The other three quarter acre of the property is back here in the wood, um, the wooded area. So then we're wondering like, what's the shoreline look like? I will draw that out here too. So I'll clear this and we'll draw that on Onyx Maps. I'm using an app called Onyx Maps. I do have a blog about 32 yards of shoreline here. Um, and you can see somebody's built that cool gazebo down there. So just looking here, um, Onyx Maps is my favorite app. I do have a blog on the website and it's in the listing too, um, how to use Onyx Maps to your advantage when viewing raw land. Um, you can click that link here. Um, the other thing you can do is just copy and paste these coordinates and put them in Google Maps, just like somebody's home address and you can go visit the property. If you don't know how to use Onyx Maps, that's no big deal. You're gonna to wanna to use things like Google Earth to go look at like natural features in the landscape. You know, where's the neighbor's fence at? So for this property, it's pretty easy. Just go find the power meter and that's right in the middle of the property here. So um, I also have a link you can download the, what I'm looking at on Onyx Maps by using that link. So again, Miles at Wilco Land, um, great recreational land investment with the potential to build here. Hopefully I answered a lot of your questions in that video. I do have other properties in Washington State and across the country in general. Give me a call, send me a text if you're interested, 605-250-1256. Thanks for tuning in.